This is Retirement Roadmap Radio with Mark Fricks of Master Plan Retirement Consultants. Listen in as we address your retirement concerns and provide insight to help put you on the path to achieving your retirement goals. And now, Retirement Roadmap Radio. Hi folks, welcome to Master Plan Retirement's Retirement Roadmap. My name is Evan and with me as always, financial advisor and retirement planner, Mark Fricks. Today we have a special episode. We'll be looking at Master Plan Retirement's approach to retirement planning and the phases that we take our clients through in developing their retirement plan, how a retirement plan is created and how it travels with you through 30 plus years of retirement. Mark, we uh, in office have been referring to our process uh, order as a process mountain. Yeah, it, it's, it's kind of like a mountain. And of course our logo is a mountain. So that's kind of part of it as well, the travels. But what's interesting is, is as we've talked about in other ep- episodes, is that it's more of a coming down the mountain, right? The climbing up the mountain is reaching retirement, coming down the mountain. So we kind of follow that uh, same logic or, or same view of the way we work things as well as is you know climbing the mountain of putting the plan together and accomplishing that and then once we reach that peak of hey we're, we're good to go we have a plan then it's just kind of i like to say smooth sailing it's never <laughs> totally smooth sailing but uh, at least we have something that is in writing something that is uh uh, very comprehensive, something that um, really involves everything that we can possibly come up with in retirement. And of course, it's flexible too, because life changes, laws change, all that, all, all those th- types of things. So we want to make sure it is flexible as well. So we're really going to get into some good stuff today. So I hope uh, hope everybody enjoys it. Yeah, absolutely. And if you were watching, uh, we will have a, a, a visual of the Process Mountain on screen. If you're just listening, we will do our best to, to describe it to you. Uh, But there are two phases to this process, um, and phase one begins with discovery. Yeah, phase one is basically creating that roadmap. You've got to have a roadmap before you can follow the roadmap. You know, it's kind of building a house. So many people come in to see us that have, they think they have a plan, they just have accounts. Uh, Or maybe somebody ran them this 30-page report of, uh, are you going to run out of money? You know, so they run all these stock market reports, and that's not a plan. That's just kind of a, um, a, I guess, I guess analysis, a little bit of an analysis. That's not a plan. I've never, Evan, in thirty plus years, I've never had anybody walk into this office, and with a plan. Okay, they may have again printouts and whatever. So um, by the time they get to the third or fourth meeting of developing their plan, they're like almost many times blown away. But more importantly, they are relieved because they see in front of them how it's developing and that they it, it takes the worry out of retirement. So right. It's really neat. Yeah, we do see people come in um, when they're bringing statements. Sometimes if they have an IRA, maybe their account will run a report on how much the, the income it can create monthly or something in the future. And, and a lot of people think, oh, well, that, yeah, that's my plan. That's my, right. you know, and that's just such a small part of of your retirement that's plan step and one a <laughs> whether that's even going to be used for income right. you have no idea okay yeah. so the first uh step within phase one is that discovery so that means uh we're getting to know the, the client um they're giving us their hopes their dreams their fears um their goals what they want you know, as as broad um as what they want to do in retirement what they want to enjoy how their lifestyle um would would how they want their lifestyles to look and then more specifically here are the assets that i have to work with um here is the income that i'll be bringing in whether it's social security or pension um things like that and so we're really getting as much comprehensive info as we can from them and then i guess the first step is to organize that yeah, so it's it's interesting. Many people have never been through uh, meetings like that. They've gone into an advisor's office or a broker's office or whatever and handed over some statements and then they invested the money. We are looking, we want to know everything we can about the person personally and financially. Um, you know, so we do, you, you described it very well. What, what do you see yourself in retirement? What are you going to be doing? How are you going to be filling your time? Uh, as you know, I'm working on a new book, and it's about the transition 
from working all these years into retirement, it's a totally different change and different people react differently. So we talk about that. You know, you, uh, you can be sitting on the couch, you know, with a remote. And most people, of course, say no. Um, do, I, do I want to travel? Do I want to fish? Do I, you know, whatever. Or you have a hobby that you're going to turn to, uh, maybe into something that makes money or maybe not. Doesn't really matter, right? But what, what do you see yourself doing? Um, and sometimes, I'm not going to say sometimes, almost all the time, it's the first time they've had that discussion with anyone, even each other, mm. if it's a couple. And so we want to get the personal side, and, and, and then we want to get, as you said, the financial side. It's not just uh, saying, hey, I've got $100,000 in an IRA. I want to see the statement. I want to see the beneficiaries. I want to see the titling. I want to see what it's in. What kind of, uh, you know, is it producing income? Is it producing growth? Um, do they know the purpose? Um, you know, I ask this sometimes. So what is the purpose of this account? And they'll look at me kind of funny. Um, I don't know. I just put money in it every year or whatever. And so we really do dig down and, 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 and understand. And, and it's not just numbers either, Evan, as you know. It's, uh, we want to see if they have a will. We want to see copies of wills. Look at a couple of years of tax returns. Um, anything that has to do with their financial future. Um, and, and because if we miss something or don't look at something, I mean, some folks will say, just go ahead and put on my financial statement that my beneficiary is so-and-so. I say, not until I see it. Mm -hmm. I've, I've had that mistake made before, and all of a sudden they find out, wow, I don't have a beneficiary in that account. So it's just all those little pieces so that we can totally analyze it and, as you said earlier, know where they're at because we can't get them where they want to be if we don't know where we're at. Well, after that initial discovery, is exactly as you said, we move into the analyze phase, mm -hmm. and that is still a, a very early meeting within the process, and basically that is where we take all of their information that they've given us, and we organize it, we stress test it. Mm -hmm. um, we run up to a dozen reports depending on the need, uh, maybe more just depending on what that sure. specific situation would be. A lot of running reports on the actual income plan for their mm -hmm. retirement. I mean, a lot of people don't even realize that they have an income plan in place. It's not really a plan, but they do, they do have, you can lay it out to where you, uh, tell me what I'm trying to say here. <laughs> A lot of people don't consider what their income is going to look like in retirement other than, oh, I know I'll have Social Security at some point. I have money I've put away into a qualified account. Have a bucket account, of money. Mm -hmm. um, and we'll figure out something between the two of those. And that's essentially the plan. But we actually lay out the numbers. Okay, what is what you have right now, sometimes that's Social Security for both spouses. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you can add a pension in there. Um, we also take their big bucket of money from years of working or whatnot. Right. And we add that in there as well. And we actually look, starting at today, all the way down through retirement, all those years, all right, here's your need. Here's what's coming in. Here's what's going out. How long does that last? And that's just where they are now. Not touching anything. If we were just to turn the wheels on today, that's what it looks like. And then we take that and we stress test it. You want to talk us through a few of those uh, yeah. stressors? Yeah, so uh, I kind of call that pre-planning. In other words, this is where you are now, and let's see what's wrong with it. And so the column I'm looking at the most is the gap column. Mm -hmm. What are they short each month? Because the red to, numbers. The that, red numbers, that exactly. That, you yeah. know, that's what, uh, because that's what they're going to be short. And so how do you fill that number? And so as you said, maybe, maybe the first report, they don't have a gap. You know, because people forget about inflation, by the way, you know, so, hey, these two Social Security checks are going to cover everything. Well, Social Security does not keep up with inflation, folks, okay? And so may maybe the red gap doesn't appear for five years or 10 years, but eventually, almost every time there's a gap in income, how do you fill the gap? But that's a perfect world. I call that the Nirvana report, right? right. So then we start adding things. We add things like, what if taxes go up? Well, guess what? That, that red gap number becomes larger, right? What if uh, inflation increases over the number over a number of years? That number's, you know, again, that red gap. So we do those two items. We do uh, bear markets. Uh, we do uh, the sequence, um, the, the risk of sequence of returns. What I mean by that is, is if you're depending on the stock market, we've done shows about this before, so I won't spend much time on it. But if you're taking money out of the stock market to fill that red gap, then um, you're more likely to run out of money because guess what the market does, folks? It goes up and it goes down. And that particular year that you're taking money out, maybe it's going down, you're accelerating your losses. So what about a passing of a spouse? Mm -hmm. 
that red gap is going to get much larger because you've just lost at least one source of income. One of the social securities goes away. Maybe the pension's affected. And so, as you said, we, uh, it's anywhere from six to 12 reports. We were on a social security maximization report. If we can maximize the social security, that red gap is going to get smaller. So that's one way of filling the red gap. Uh, another big one, as you know, is long-term care. What if I have a long-term care issue? Uh, as you know, we're not big believers in the traditional long-term care insurance, but there are other tools to help fill that gap. The so, long-term care illustration is always devastating. It to is. The, it is. The, the, the cost of long-term care yep. is out of control. Yeah, but that's just that's part of the whole analysis, and we want to present to them, this is where we're at, and then, uh, and then we start building that roadmap. That's kind of the next step, as I'm sure you're going to point out next, is now we need to start putting together the roadmap to solve the problems that we had. Okay, and so um, that kind of begins with really the most important thing, which is money. Okay, um, tax planning, estate planning, all this other stuff doesn't really matter if you don't have enough money coming in or if you're going to run out of money. So we begin, as you know, with income planning. Uh, the first thing I look at is that red gap, and I begin looking at different ways to fill it with the money that they have. Uh, maybe they got five more years of working, so there's some more savings coming in. How does that affect it? But we want to create this nice report that shows that year one of retirement, this much is coming in, this much is going out, and this is where the gap is, and this is what's filling the gap. And we do that to age 95 to 100, okay? And so this is a lifetime plan that is flexible. That's kind of step one is the income. Uh, so uh, that's, uh, you know, the basis, I think, of everything we do. Yeah, so moving into that designing of the roadmap of the retirement plan, um, we create the plan with the client. It's not just us saying, hey, here's your plan. This is what we're doing. Um, come along for the ride. Yeah. No, we walk alongside you. We make sure that not only do you understand what you're, we are doing and recommending, um, but that you agree with it and you think that is the most beneficial for your case. We walk alongside you as your fiduciary based on your specific situation. As mm -hmm. you said before, no two plans are alike. We don't have um, a bookshelf full of pre-written plans. Right. Um, we don't take one off, okay, you get plan, plan. CF or whatever. <laughs> exactly. you know. um, so we begin with those recommendations and, and if they are um, in line and, and everything is smooth sailing, we're feeling good, then we'll begin to move forward on that. Um, but before we move forward on this conversation, I want to take one moment <laughs> and uh, remind you guys to check out our website, Master Plan retire.com there you can find links to multiple retirement resources including this episode featured on youtube podcasts uh, we have our seminar and webinar schedule available on our website check that out uh, we run a lot of different retirement topic discussions there um, and also perhaps the most important there's a schedule now button you can schedule your initial consultation with mark fricks discuss your own personal retirement so please feel free to take us up on that masterplanretire.com. You can also feel free to call us at our office, 770-980-9262, Master Plan Retirement Consultants. So as we're designing the roadmap, um, we've set up the plan, the client is on board, uh, we're ready to move into the execute phase. Right, so we begin um, whatever it is that's gonna to take to fulfill that income plan, uh, we start um, maybe moving some of their accounts around. As I've said before, um, you know, most people come in to see us with one big bucket of money. We begin, you know, maybe we need one, uh, a piece of that bucket to go into uh, income for the, uh, you know, immediate retirement. And then maybe later on additional income. So we need a, maybe another bucket that works better for income later in life and so forth. Well, that's a good point. I'm sorry to interrupt no. you right there. We talked a, a little bit about their income streams they already have, but sometimes you have to create those in income streams. That's exactly what we're filling that income gap. That's exactly what we're doing with uh, typically a guaranteed income stream as opposed to, again, I hope my 401k or IRA lasts long enough for, for me to take this income out right. and that, that type of thing. Um, and along with that, Evan, is, is of course growth. I mean, so we're creating income, but we still need growth. And so in addition to those income buckets, we may have three or four growth buckets, some short-term growth, mid-term growth. So that's kind of all part of the money section 
of the retirement roadmap that we're working on. So we've got that income plan that we execute, which is usually takes precedence before we start moving into other things because right. that will dictate uh, if funds need to move where, things like that. We re reallocate funds if necessary, and we've talked a little bit in the past about um, our uh, concept of buckets of money, different accounts with different jobs, as you uh, alluded to a little bit. After we've got that money moved where it needs to be, we've got the buckets set up, um, we've got income taken care of, then we start to look at the tax planning side of things. Right. And that's a macro view of tax planning and not a micro reporting for the year, but right. what's 20, 30 years down the road of tax planning. And that requires some moving of, of parts a, a, as well. Yep, that's a, a two or three meetings that we, we look at, you know, it, is there a tax problem? Almost always is. Uh, people just don't have enough tax-free money. Uh, so we begin uh, looking at Roth conversions, uh, modified life policies that can produce guaranteed income uh, that's tax-free, um, maybe some tax-efficient accounts, municipal bonds, things like that, and start moving things around. But you gotta be careful, Evan, as you know, uh, we start moving too much money into Roths and other pieces, you're paying taxes as that, as that money moves. Mm -hmm. And so we also have to look at your current tax bracket, where's the next bracket, we don't wanna push you three, three brackets ahead of where you're at now. I mean, I, we do have some clients that are very aggressive and they're moving a lot of money into Roths and modified life policies and other tools that are tax free. But most clients wanna, you know, they wanna watch their tax bill now, understanding they gotta sacrifice some now because would you rather save on taxes the next couple of years or the rest of your life? Mm -hmm. And so that tax strategy, again, different for everybody, uh, depending on how their fee feel and what their income level is and how far away they are from retirement, or maybe, maybe you're already retired. Not too late, by the way, folks, okay? Um, and so that's that next step uh, after creating the growth and income section uh, and the income plan is to now how do we minimize taxes in retirement? We've got the tax planning set up. Uh, we've got a tax strategy set up, uh, a plan within the plan. Um, the next facet is estate and legacy planning. Right. Yes, and we've done whole entire shows about that, of course. But this is, a, uh, again, about a couple of things. Number one is to make sure the client is taken care of if they're incapacitated, uh, if one of them are, both of them are, one passes away or whatever. Uh, and then it's also about, you know, all that money that you've worked hard for, you've saved, you've sacrificed. We don't want it disappearing when it goes to the next generation. And how can it disappear? Well, number one is uh, taxes, if it's not treated correctly and the right plans in place, uh, probate cost, attorney cost, and then uh, maybe death taxes, depending on how much money you have. And by the way, the death tax is going to come roaring back here in the next few years. It's going to become a problem again. It's not been lately because of the Trump tax cuts really raised the level a lot, but now that exemption is coming down. And then you can also lose money. This is going to sound a little weird, okay, but uh, depending on how you leave it to your children or grandchildren or whoever, if you just say, hey, here's a pile of money, you know, m money that's not earned is typically spent much quicker, right? Lottery winners blow their money, and so you have a couple of kids that get a million, you know, a million or two, hey, maybe great kids, and maybe they don't blow it, okay? Not all do, but think about this, Evan. What if I leave uh, all of my money, uh, say, to my daughter? Okay, and so now she has a million dollars, all right? And she's married, because um, I'm, I'm 80 or 90 when I die, she's 40 or 45 or whatever, and she inherits a million dollars, and her husband comes and says, uh, I want a divorce. Mm -hmm. Well, that million dollars is technically half his, okay? And so how do we make sure that that's controlled? That's, you know, use trust and things like that to help control that. Maybe you want the money spread out over maybe their lifetime, maybe, to the, to the grandchildren, the great-grandchildren. Um, you, maybe you want to control the IRAs better because you know they, if they inherit an IRA and they take all the money out at once, they're going to owe taxes on the entire IRA. So maybe we want to spread that out uh, over a 10-year period, which is when you have to take money out of an IRA. So that, that's more to estate planning than, hey, I've got a will. Uh, this is not document planning. Uh, this is this is legacy planning, and so we want to make sure all of those situations are covered. And so that is, um, I wouldn't call that the final part of the retirement roadmap because if you if you're a federal worker, there's a lot more moving pieces. Um, anybody that's out there that's a federal worker knows you you've got all these strange words like fegly and furs and all these things. But it's it's their their system is another added layer of complication. So it's another one or two or three meetings to help incorporate all that into their plan as well. So. And, and there's other 
people that retire that have certain situations that require additional planning as well. But what I tell folks, I say expect six to nine meetings to put this roadmap together. Uh, but then you got it. And then all we do is we just kind of monitor and review it. And we want to make sure if we need to tweak it, if we need to change something, if we need to uh, move an account because of this. We want to re- uh, monitor it, make sure that we're getting the growth we should be getting over here, make sure this is producing the income we need. It's a constant tweaking. Uh, you can't just set it and forget it. All right. This is the next 30 years we're going to be meeting. Uh, okay. And, 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 you know, once I'm gone, it's, it's uh, the next generation, Evan and, and, and some other advisors. And then I've got, we got grandchildren saying, hey, can I, can I come work with you one day and all that kind of, and of course, other advisors that, that are going to be working with us as well. So this is not something that if Mark disappears or if Evan disappears, this is gone. This is an ongoing multi-generational uh, company and business. And so we've got your back for the next. Uh, and of course, as you know, we meet and work with our client's kids. Uh, and now I'm meeting with one of the grandkids in a couple of weeks. So I don't even know if you knew that or not, but they, they want to make sure the grandkids off want to get start. So oh, that's great. Yep. So after the plan is created, just want to review a little bit. It's mm-hmm. executed. Everything's in place. We talked a little bit about that whole process. Once your plan is in place, everything is done. We move into phase two, mm-hmm. and that's the monitor and review. That's the right. ongoing client. And some really important things about that detail is that one, that plan is ongoing. As you said a little bit, it's flexible for life's changes because um, life does not move to a plan. Life moves unexpectedly, things happen, income needs change, um, all sorts of things happen. So that plan is a flexible document, it's a flexible plan that we adjust at least meet with our clients annually. Um, Much more often, um, more times than not, we're meeting with clients more frequently than once a year. Well, we're Um, we're available when they need us too. And we're also, yeah, of course, and we just, we are um, their personal CFO. Um, we get calls and emails, texts, whatever, all the time. Uh, we're not actually allowed to receive texts. There's a compliance issue, so no texts allowed. <laughs> that's right. Um, but uh, yeah, and, and that's that's ongoing, and, and if it needs to be tweaked here or there, maybe they're getting too much income in retirement. Like, hey, I'm getting way too much. Let's do something with this money. Uh, there's always something to, to focus on and adjust. Um, and one quick note, Evan, and I know we're running out of time, but um, we also have what ifs built into the plan. Uh, so oh, yeah. I'll never forget, um, years ago, uh, I had a client and uh, she called me up and said, Mark, I want you to know that uh, Jack died last night, her husband. And um, she said, I, I don't know what to do. And I said, you go grieve, you go, you go handle what you need to handle, you be with family. We have a plan. We've yep. already built that into it. We, we, now we take this direction. And so it's a very smooth transition financially and and so I tell people that that we have what ifs built in too so that is important to know and that's why again we continually monitor and review for the tweaks whether it be a major tweak or a minor tweak yeah and we're seeing that more and more you know we've been around over a decade now we're starting to see a lot of clients get to that age where uh, spouse we're losing spouses and we're having to do a lot more health care long term care mm-hmm. uh, of accounts and and of life and and that's, that's right. Um, that's something we take very seriously. Um, but yeah, I want to remind you guys one more time, check out our website, masterplanretire.com, uh, retirement resources, links to um, educational videos and podcasts. More importantly, schedule your initial consultation with Mark on our website or call our office, 770-980-9262. Uh, Mark, any parting words for our audience today? I would say, go, you know, go to the website and, and, and bookmark it and, and share it with your friends because uh, we've had so many people that visit and they're like, oh, that's amazing. Uh, you know, you have events, you have classes coming up, you have, uh, all, as we've said, all over 100 podcasts, uh, our own YouTube channel with, with these types of, uh, of episodes, as well as little short episodes, 60 seconds. Hey, here's an idea type of thing. So masterplanretire.com, visit that, push the green button, schedule a time for your complimentary consultation. We'd love to meet with you. Uh, but in the meantime, um, until we see each other again, remember, plan well and prosper. Take care. This was Retirement Roadmap Radio with Mark Fricks of Master Plan Retirement Consultants. To schedule a complimentary consultation, go to masterplanretire.com or call 770-980-9262. Turning a 401k, IRA, or retirement savings into a regular income that will last as long as you do is no easy task. 
The Retirement Roadmap Radio with Mark Fricks can help you possibly achieve this goal and get your financial future in tune. Don't wait. Contact them at 770-980-9262. And listen to Retirement Roadmap Radio with Mark Fricks, Saturday mornings at 830 here on AM 920, The Answer. All matters discussed during the show are for informational purposes only. Each individual situation may vary and the opinions expressed here may not apply to everyone. Materials presented are believed to be from reliable sources and no representations can be made as to its accuracy. All ideas and information should be discussed in detail with one of our qualified representatives prior to implementation. Advisory services offered through Master Plan Retirement Consultants, a registered investment advisor in the state of Georgia. Mark Fricks and Master Plan Retirement Consultants are not affiliated with or endorsed by the Social Security Administration or any other government agency.